What's up everyone? Today's topic is going to be another topic on a color. That's right, we're going to talk about June Bug. And the reason we're going to talk about June Bug is because of your comments. A lot of you guys commented on my previous video. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I did one on green pumpkin versus watermelon. And I tried to help you guys understand, hey, if the water clarity is this and the sun or the weather is doing this, I choose this. If the water clarity is this and it's cloudy or whatever, I think I tend towards green pumpkin. When do you want to throw green pumpkin with some flake? So the video is explaining when to throw green pumpkin and watermelon. So go back on the channel, check that out. And then in all the comments, the overwhelming comments was wanting to know about June bug, which I thought was pretty interesting. And I was like, you know, I do need to do a, a video and talk about June bug because it is a special color. And if any color I choose beyond green pumpkin and watermelon, it's going to be June bug, but I want y'all to, to pay attention. Now I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. That's right. We got a lot of explaining to do about June bug and why it is a good color and where you should throw June bug. Now again, guys, <clears throat> I'm speaking majority of the time. So if you're listening to me and you're like, I live in Kentucky and I catch the crap out of them on you know, June bug worms. I, hey, I'm, I, that's good. I, I'm not going to deny that. But there is special places on the United States where absolutely June bug is going to outfish green pumpkin and watermelon. So you need to know this. So let's start with this. Typically, if I am in the state, I know y'all like my drawing. If I am in the state of Florida, June bug is like the green pumpkin and watermelon of that world there's something about this state where june bug is just like i'm gonna have june bug tied on am i gonna have green pumpkin and watermelon tied on absolutely because in the state of florida i want you guys to understand this you have dark tannic waters so of course this is salt water surrounding this this intercoastal waterway right so you have a lot of, uh, like you could get on the St. John's River. What happens is on these, in the outside edges and on the inside edges in some of these marsh fields, you're gonna have brackish water. You're gonna have tannic water, what they call tannic water. And it's basically a dark coffee looking water. It's just dark. It's clean, but it's dark. So here's why June bug is so good. Dark waters, murky waters, require dark colors. Now, a June bug, if you're not familiar, is like a black grape color with green flake, okay? It's just a simple, now there's different, you know, every company's June bug might be a little bit different, but relatively it's pretty dark. And here's what I want you to understand is that, let's go back to the United States and I'm gonna draw you an outline as I did, okay? so. You have salt water that, it, of course, invades right all through here. Intercoastal waterway just dominated and along the east coast. So this is pretty much green pumpkin and watermelon for me. If I very rarely branch off a of green pumpkin, it's no doubt the state of Florida and on the coast. Guys, it's, again, can you catch them on June bug and Maine and... Well, you can catch them on anything in Maine, but you know, all these other places, yeah, you can, okay? I'm not gonna deny it. But your dark tannic waters are gonna be along the coastal areas of the United States. And again, when you have coastal waters, you're gonna have water that is uh, dark and tannic, and you're gonna wanna go with your dark. Now, June bug is full of a lot of red flakes. You can get June bug and like June bug with red flake, June bug with, I think June bug red is, oh, there's another one called June bug Christmas tree or something. You could branch off. I'm, I can't really get technical with June bug because June bug deals more with water clarity. Now, I do want to say this, okay? Bring it back up my map one more time. Okay. When you get in, when you get in Florida, you or, or see how I have the coastal, the dotted line? See how I have it? dotted and then i actually come across here now there's a lot of inlets you got the mississippi river you got 
a lot of things. The Mississippi River, of course, is always going to have muddy water, typically all the way in it in the summertime. So it's going to flow a lot with it. Now you got a lot of outcroppings, uh, you know. So June bug might might branch up in here a little ways, but especially in the state of Florida, like if you got the St. Johns River or you got Okeechobee, which Okeechobee. You can go from one coast to the other through the intercoastal waterway. So there's a lot of intercoastal waterways where you can go from one side of Florida to the other. Those that are brackish water, again, have that dark tannic water, but it's actually clean. Even though it's dark looking, it's clean. Again, June bug is gonna be a dominant color. Now, as you get far inland towards uh, the, the middle of the state, that's where you know I'm branching back a little bit more on my green pumpkins and watermelons. There's not a mixture of water. Some of the waters might be tannic. What I mean by that is just a dark, milkier color. Guys, I think pretty much you get the point. What do y'all score me on my map here? You think I got, I mean, come on. You, you think I get a 10, 10 on this map drawing? See, I even said June bug best region and why i know y'all like my read my my drawing there all right guys i appreciate you guys liking subscribing commenting hey i got a lot of hacks uh if you haven't seen like the whopper plopper hack is a popular one just surf the channel i talk a lot about creative ways to trick out your lures i know a lot of people do but i also do it too uh some of them are pretty cool some of them I can't believe I spilled the beans on. So go back and surf the channel. Guys, I got a lot of uh, tournament videos where you follow me along and practice tournament days. And, you know, if I advance, I keep going all the way to the finals, which I hope I do. This is typically four days of footage. You get to follow me all the way through and learn. And, guys, I don't mind talking. I don't mind talking what I'm doing. It's not just fish catches and drone shots and music and slow-mos. You know, I do a little bit of that, but it's a lot more talking involved in some of my tournament videos and vlogs. Uh, I like to explain things a little bit more than watching somebody slow-mo a shot or slow-mo a cast in a jig. So anyways, appreciate you guys and share this video. If you like it, like it, hit the thumbs up. You guys know the deal and we're out.